In solo leveling arise, gates allow you to gain a lot of rewards with things like Jinwoo XP, melding cubes, and also gear, which is why I'm going to give you a complete guide on how you can maximize your daily gates so you can become even stronger. But first things first, let's talk about all the different types of gates that can actually appear within this game mode. So in total, I believe there's five different types of gates within this game mode, as we have the just the regular gates where you just play Sung Jinwoo, and then you have the also another regular gate where you can just only play it as other hunters outside of Sung Jinwoo. And and then we also have dungeon breaks as well as actual special gates which involve like a specific certain set game mode for you to play and then also red gates and these red gates are basically sort of a sign of just heightened difficulty and that's pretty much it and then in terms of rewards from all these stages you have a bunch of things as i mentioned in the intro and for me the most important thing or one of the most important things is going to be the experience that you can gain for jinwoo as well as also all the gold that you can also obtain from those stages as gold is probably one of the most valuable resources in this game and is very uh, hard to come by and then also other rewards which I didn't necessarily mention in the intro is going to be things like the marks of time right here which you can get as well. And these marks of times are used in the armory where you'll be able to unlock other armory slots with uh, either a hundred marks of time or a thousand essence stones or it's for actually enhancing your current weapons that are already in your armory as well to give you a bunch of extra stats. And then you can also obtain things like the traces of shadows as well as the abyssal fragments and then also the shadow energies. And all of these materials are used within your actual army of shadows, as if I wanted to say level up my egress here, it's gonna cost me 150 of these traces of shadows, which means I'm gonna have to grind a lot, and I mean a lot of uh, gates. And then also a gate's difficulty is determined by the actual rank that the gate is set by. So we have a C rank gate here, an A rank gate, a D rank gate, and then it will go all the way from, I don't know if there are E rank gates, I'm not too sure. I haven't seen one in ages, but if, it, if there is, it'll go from E rank all the way to S rank all right so let's start off with the regular gates we're going to do this a rank gate right here and this is the team i'm going to be using and uh, so let's get into it all right first gate is up and this is just going to be a regular gate where we just got to beat up a ton of enemies and then well, there should be a boss at the end all right first section done on to the next one and we got this big boy here who's going to use this skill to do so much damage it's a joke and i don't i don't really need to bother doing too much here all right alpha cave bear and, and then, of course, enemies are going to have all of their different... Um, oh my god, that was actually kind of close. They're going to have all of their different type weaknesses. So this stage is pretty much just weak to like, a ton of water attacks and stuff, which is going to be useful for me because I have my SSR Grimoire. Okay, right, let's get our ult here. Oh, never mind, we didn't even need it. So here we are. We, we also got the traces of shadow. Uh, we got the shades, but you just get that from like pretty much all pieces of gameplay. So it's nothing unique. We got a thousand gold and then a bunch of other stuff as well. So next up, we have the dungeon break where we can get our melding cubes. And then you also agree by a pretty cool cut card scene, but you would have seen this if you've played through the story anyway. So that's it. Okay, next stage. And this one, you actually have a time limit. Although I feel like it's pretty easy to just not have to. Uh, it's, 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 it's quite hard for you to not be able to beat it within the time limit as you, it does give you a good amount of time. Although normally a stage gives you three minutes, this gives you two minutes, so I guess there's that. So it's a little bit harder than, than most other stages, but it's still relatively fine. Especially if you have actually like started and geared your characters properly, or like well enough at least. And then once you've been all those, we just have to run over here, and then we go to fight the boss. Which is going to be this guy and not the golem. Oh wow, okay, an actual different boss for once. Normally it's just the golem on these stages, but fair enough. Oh, okay, he needs to chill out. And then these guys will have like a ton of like armor and break or whatever you want to call it as well for you to deal with. So make sure you bring skills that allow you to do break damage because they are going to be very, very much useful. So we've almost broken it. There we go. So let's just do this, just for some extra bonus damage. And these guys do have a lot of health bars and you also have a, a time limit to beat these bosses as well. So make sure you are strong enough to do so. Get my ult. Very nice. And yeah, nice. We just walked through his body. That's fine. <laughs> Whoa, that did so much damage. Here we go. Come on. And clear. Lovely stuff. So there we go. We got a fire melding cube. And then we also got some equipment as well. So if you've also noticed, this bar down here has also been filling up as I've been playing these gates. And essentially what this is, is something like, a, it's like milestones that you can reach every day. So once you've completed three different gate missions or just three different gates, you'll then be able to earn this first re reward here of Jinwoo XP, which is going to be 8.3k XP. And then you can actually increase this by, uh, I think it's like the 7.99 sort of like monthly bundle or whatever it is. I can't remember how much it actually is, which allows you to get like a bunch of bonus XP as well. All right. And then next up, we actually have a special gate, which 
which is going to be a hunter only gate so we won't be able to use Jinru unfortunately so we've got to use these characters here which aren't very built but it's fine I'm sure Egress is going to carry me so it'll be fine so here we go and like I said before these are going to be sort of like their own specific unique things and game modes or whatever so, so this time we got to defeat the goblins that are carrying the luggage or whatever. So it's probably important for things like these that you bring characters that do have a lot of AoE damage. Like my Min Bianku is pretty good at that kind of thing. So we need to make sure we do a, as much damage as we possibly can. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and summon Egress here because he is going to be very, very useful. So we got all we got to do is just beat 40 within the time limit, which should be doable, especially because they are just walking in a straight line. You'd hope so anyway, especially with Lim Tae Gyu doing all of this, which is very nice. Now let's get Min Byung Gyu down because his uh, B skill is going to be able to stun them as well, which is really, really good. And we get the AoE from his just basic attack. So yeah, basically in things like this, you do just want just any form of AoE damage because those are going to be the best ways for you to deal with these kinds of things. Wow, we've grouped up a ton of them. So let's go ahead and put this down. Press the AoE skill. Let's use here Jiwoo and use the ult. And there we go. So these ones are, tend to be a, a lot simpler. They can be really difficult because you do have to do a lot of things like breaking towers but by, whilst also actually defeating a ton of enemies. And there we go. Now that we've actually completed our third gate for the day, barring this actual loading screen, we've then gained a bunch of extra Jinwoo XP, which is going to hopefully allow us to progress with this actual level. So once you've actually already challenged all the, all the dungeons and stuff that you want to do, and I will say the dungeons that I do recommend you challenge is going to be just uh, only, only the special ones, being the dungeon break special gates red gates etc and just not these regular blue ones because there's just no point because what you can do is you can actually rescan your gates every 10 minutes but let's cover the red gate as the red gates are meant to be somewhat heightened difficulty but also with things that give you more rewards as well all right so and the, and we'll also be able to showcase that all of the towers that you can break and stuff within this as well which is going to be really really cool so we have a ton of enemies here so i'm going to go ahead and summon egress because he is going to be very useful with his uh, army shadow uh, army of shadows all right, and then basically once we've uh, actually gone ahead and broken, uh, defeated all the enemies, we can break the towers and then we can move on. And I don't know how an enemy over here has been damaged. I have no idea how that's happened, but it's fine. <laughs> we'll take it. So once again, we just need to beat up all the enemies. And then we can break the tower again. And then we can actually move on to the next section. We have to break another tower. And then I believe after this will be the actual boss. All right, here we go. Here we go. Now this is, I believe, a B rank version of it, I think. So it shouldn't be too difficult, at least. I think I was actually much stronger than this stage, so we'll take that. All right, let's do this. We've got Egress and stuff ready to cook. And COG Wu is always facing the wrong way, I swear. I, I need, probably need to read into that skill more. Use the ult. There we go. And let's get Lim Take You in, because this QT skill is going to allow us to do a bunch of really good things. Especially with his ult, which is going to enter us into sniper mode. Where we do a ton, and I mean a ton of damage. There we go, just found the basics, get the boosted. Bro, this guy, these guys just move about, don't they? Whoa, you do too much damage. All right. Okay, it's almost down, and this should finish it. Nice. So that's pretty much everything to do with the gates. The, the game does also mention there being bonus gates, but I haven't really necessarily seen what that is. I think it just means more of these like regular ones appear, I think. But then actually, finally, the, the next important thing is the actual gate mining. So essentially, once you've beaten the, uh, the gate dungeons or stages, you'll be able to actually mine them for their crystals. And these are the mana crystals right here, which are basically, it's, it's, all it is is basically a currency that you can spend in a shop. And all you've got to do is just press dispatch all, and then it will dispatch all of uh, up to three gates that you can currently have. And it will say their rank and like what kind of dungeons they are here. And basically that the higher like dungeon or like higher rank of dungeon they are, uh, or then like the higher type of dungeon, the basically the, the better stuff that you'll probably get as well. And then you'll also have mining levels, which will give you different passive bonus effects as well. So basically the higher level, the more stuff you're gonna get. So this is the shop right here. And a lot of the important things are gonna be things like your advanced mana crystals, as I think this is the only place that you can currently get them, it is. So these things are gonna be good. Encore mission keys are always going to be good as well as instant dungeon keys the melding cube selection chest is always also going to be really really good as well as the weapon enhancement gear as well honestly just all, all of the stuff in here is going to be useful at some points and this shop will reset every day as well so you can get a, a bunch of these extra stuff every day but there you have it that is everything for gates if you enjoyed this video you found it useful then don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video peace